be equipped to provide services uniquely to victims of all our crimes. Some of these services would include enforcing conditional bonds, such as a no contact order against the victims of the crimes. This prosecutor would also seek to revoke the probation of offenders filing the terms of sentence, particularly the no contact orders. The VAWA prosecutor would also meet with all victims and witnesses before trial to better prepare their testimony, which would result hopefully in a conviction of these cases. Our office has acquired the full support of the Children's Advocacy Center, the Haven, Judge John Ken Edwards Jr. from State Court, Sheriff Chris Pride, the chiefs of all local municipalities in Lowndes County. As many of the people we seek to help overlap with this agency, and the awarding of this grant would not only benefit our office, but these agencies as well. I have signed letters of support from each of these agencies, and I also have a memorandum of understanding signed by each of these agencies. We have provided notebooks for each of the commissioners to review, which includes our problem statement and data, our proposed budget, and background on the grant. We are here today to ask for your permission to go forward with this grant proposal. It is due tomorrow by midnight online. Thank you. Any questions? I have a question, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Bay. Um, I think this is very commendable and, and um, it's certainly something we need to, to uh, enforce the law and things are already in place. But my question is, I notice this is a, a female um, advocate as I look here in, in my notebook. Would you assist men who are victims of sexual assault or violence, domestic violence? Is this just for women? We will assist all victims of crime. In fact, we served 1,171 victims for the year 2012. But this grant will specifically um, target victims, um, violence victims of crime, which would target female victims. However, all of our services will include all victims, men, women, and children um, of all dating violence and sexual assault and all victim-related crimes. And what would the title of this position be, the person who as this position, what would it stop? We would have a victim advocate, a victim witness coordinator, and a assistant solicitor general. I just like to commend them. I think it's a great effort, uh, you know, moving forward. Um, I, I didn't notice the amount. How, how much are y'all looking at getting? I have the budget, and it's also in the notebook. Oh, you don't have to go for the. the the total federal funds will be $189,447. We can use a 25% match. The CJCC allows us to use an in-kind match of volunteers, which we will use two volunteers slash interns per semester performing 20 hours of work. They are valued at $12 an hour. This is not something we have to pay, but it's what we are allowed to use as a match. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Griffin. I had something you wanted to add. Mr. Chairman, uh, this is not the first model grant that Lowndes County has applied for and received a number of years ago. Uh, this office was also funded uh, through this very program. I would like to point out that uh, if the funds cease, for whatever reason, the uh, positions are eliminated. Also, that the way the salaries are calculated has to be based on their, uh, their uh, how they would be adjusted to the Lowndes County uh, pay plan. So it all have to fit together. They couldn't just take, for instance, a salary that might be applicable in Cobb County and apply. 
applied here without it being adjusted. And it, it may be the same number, but it is based on Lowndes County's paper. Any questions? Mr. Chairman, are you guys allowed to administer the grant also through your office, or do you have to have, a, have, to have an outside administrator? We would administer it, but we have to have the chairman of the board of commissioners as our authorized official. Once the grant is approved, then the chairman can designate that um, authority to someone in our office. Okay. okay. And yeah. I, I do have the letters of support here in the memorandum of understanding if anyone wants to see it. You want this one? Thank you very much. Thank you.